expeditions where we confront fear to find the truth and this one's going to be a little bit different it's going to be similar to the way i did analog archives because i knew in that case what i was getting myself into before i watched it but i didn't have no clue what it was actually going to happen or what it was completely about so in this video we'll be looking at a scary horror short film and if you don't know already prize box does a lot of short films and everything and we sometimes delve into horror a lot <laughs> But I'm willing to, I want to see how I want to see how scary this could possibly be, considering that when I looked into the comments, they were saying stuff like, "I had to scroll all the way down to the comments to be less scared." <laughs> I really want to see if it causes that with me. So for background, the movie takes place following a death in the family. Its members start hearing a mysterious sound. That's basically all the description has to say about it. <laughs> And I'm really into seeing how much this thing can actually scare me. I really, really want to see if it can. So without further ado, let's get to the video. He's gonna have to go by and start going through his things. Okay. Okay, then. Service is next week. I see. So there, okay. You'll be coming, right? I don't know. I'm struggling here, Jim, with work. Mm -hmm. We have all these new orders and... I'll I mean, I gotta say, the, this, the filming style is actually pretty good. He's starting his new school. Caitlin, he was dad's only brother. Yeah, and I didn't know him. Neither did you. It's still family. It's, it's still family, you know? If it, even if his dad, even if you don't know him, they're... I thought this video had a really weird point with him looking over here like that. <laughs> but like I was saying, even if it, you don't know him, you're it, she, they were probably still close to your dad, and you'd want to be there to, to help him through it. Like, though I can understand why, how, he can, how it might not be feasible, but still... What? Okay then. Say what happened? Near a church or something? Hmm? What? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I think this is when it, everything starts getting weird because I remember seeing comments about bells no, ringing. I'm at my house. Jim. Are but you they concerned that he had Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How did they not know what killed him? They they're already having the funeral, but they didn't go but they're already having the funeral, but they didn't have like they didn't get an autopsy done. Was his body found somewhere? Was it dis mangled or dismembered or something? You're telling me that they're you're telling me that they didn't have to. They're telling me that something he was more than likely murdered by some someone or something, and they found his body. There was no police investigation. There was no having to go identify the body. So you don't know. So nobody knows anything. Nobody told the family what was going on and what happened. Like, I mean, you could probably say that because they didn't know him, but still, you're telling me that they invited them to the funeral, but didn't tell them what happened to him and why they want a closed casket? You don't hear that? I feel like the story's losing feasibility to me. The Bells. Yep, that's the title. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Hello? Jim. Um, okay then. Uh, there's a little bit of an issue here. What, what are these lights over here? What are these lights? Are these the stage lights they set up? Or is there like a car or flashlight? This is really strange. Yeah, the, it's the stage lights. Hello? You might want to... Yeah, I'm here. You might not want to Hello? have that happen. Hey, Lynn? Hello? Okay, I'm having an issue believing the bells because it doesn't sound like it's in the movie. It sounds like it was... It sounds like... The way I do my background music, it doesn't sound like it's actually playing inside what's happening. It sounds like it's happening. Not you get what I mean. It's not. Like, it doesn't sound like it's happening in the movie itself, but happening like in the uh, as like on the outside, like outside the fourth wall. Hello? Hey, Lynn? 
like it's part of a sound. Well, like this way the soundtracks are. Like I, I don't know how to explain it. So it's it doesn't feel that loud, but it seems to be like hurting him somehow. <laughs> okay, okay. If you want to do if you want to do creepy bells, don't have it just stop abruptly like that. Just kind of kind of uh <laughs> kind of taper it off like make it fade out don't just boom just stop it like that because it makes it makes it even sound even less realistic because i mean maybe it does help with the creep factor a little bit because it makes it sound a little bit unnatural that that's not how sound works okay that was a little bit startling but <laughs> what was that supposed to be <laughs> Oh, and now he, the now he's deaf. Okay then, so now he's deaf. Oh my gosh, it's them. <laughs> They're here. They're coming to get him, and now he's lost his only early warning system. I feel like this is a bad idea, considering you can't hear anything. I think the best option would just be get out of the house. You're hearing weird sounds, you hear something screech, and then you hear it, and then it deafens you, and then you look, see something walk by in the corner of your eye, but you want to go check and see what it is. Oh, okay. So, uh, how are you supposed to answer the phone if you, uh... Can't hear what they're saying. I mean, you could have answered in the phone saying, You're deaf, you can't hear anything. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to check something. The clock on the clock on the, the top says looks like it says 357 or something like that. But then when the phone closed, it said 857. Or something like that. Okay, never mind. It's at eight fifty-seven. Okay, it was just I was just wondering because the way some some of this is going, I didn't expect them to keep track of continuity errors for some reason. Uh oh, somebody spilled the Kool Aid. Why why is this guy wearing? Do people typically wear shoes in their house? I mean, like, I mean, I don't. Like, it it just doesn't. What is that really bright light above his head? <laughs> you know, you're deaf, you're seeing all this stuff, and you still haven't, you still haven't, like, contemplated leaving the house and maybe calling the cops or something. I mean... Or going next door for help or something? Uh, okay, what is that? Okay, was that inside the movie or here? Because my roommates are outside and everything, so I'm not sure if they're making sounds. Oh no, he's gonna- he's gonna knock out his, um, knock out his sister, isn't he? Or Caitlyn, whoever she- whoever she's supposed to be to him. She, he's gonna knock her out, isn't he? He's gonna get scared and knock her out. And then she's gonna be dead. And he's gonna be to blame. Oh. Well, he can hear again. Okay. Okay, where's the monster? There it is! <laughs> that wasn't very frightening. Just. It didn't. That wasn't much of a jump scare. I feel like that's what it was attempting to do. It could be wrong, but... Oh, look at the mouth on that thing! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was... That was... <laughs> I'm sorry. That was... 
<laughs> it reminded me of that, of the indigestion video for some reason. Just with all the teeth. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that this isn't this isn't that scary. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He had his face bitten off by Susie from Deltarune. <laughs> and now they're gonna have to go to two funerals because of a monster that has no explanation or backstory as to where it came from. Hey. You thinking about school? You know, I know it seems really daunting, but it's going to be super fun. Remember I told you you have the nicest teacher in the whole school. Um, okay then. And you're going to make What does this have to do with the with the with everything? That's true. What does this have to do with everything? Oh, they have one of those Himalayan salt things in the back, in the foreground. Oh, here are the bells. So here it comes again. Here we go again. Here we go again. The monster's gonna come get her next. Did you hear that? Oh, it's gonna come get both of them. Oh, it's coming to get him. <laughs> okay, yeah, if you can hear that, that's my roommate out there. But, um, okay then. There you go. There you go. That was the bells. <laughs> it was supposed to be scary. It was supposed to be scary, and it wasn't at all. <laughs> it was just too... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the... I'm sorry to the creators of this movie. I'm sorry to, uh... Vert Powell. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't that scary. It, it, it just made me laugh. <laughs> Even at the climax part where the monster eats the guy's face, I'm assuming. Or just mangles his body. And I know it's supposed to be scary, but it wasn't that scary at all. Like, there were... It, it felt like... Because it felt like I was watching a movie. Like, it didn't feel like... I mean... How can I describe it? It didn't feel like the suspension of disbelief was there. There was parts where the lights from the... Looks like the stage lights were visible. There were parts where the lighting in the house wasn't too good and was obvious. There were so many issues, like the there were so many issues that I noticed that it kind of made me they sort of took me out of it. And the monster. Where does the monster come from? Why is it here? Is it some kind of like a family curse that's just not explained why this monster is targeting them? At first it ate their dad, then it ate it eats their it eats their uncle, then it eats him, then he's the main character, then it eats his son. Like or is there like a family curse or something? I, I, I don't know what's happening here. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can try to find out a little bit more of this, because um, I'm not sure if I will, but I'll be, I'll try, but I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm not sure if I just wasn't thorough enough, but I couldn't find anything about what the monster was or why it's targeting this family at all. I really couldn't find anything, and apparently neither could anybody else. Because according to other reviews, they have the same, they have similar complaints that the plot lacks um, interior logic. <laughs> there were some things that people tried to praise it for, like it's um, it's um, special effects makeup and rather than using cheap CGI or something. But to me, when they did it on the monster, it didn't look like it didn't look like it. It looked like even though they used conventional makeup, it still looked like cheap CGI to me. <laughs> it still ended up looking like cheap CGI. I mean, I could tell, I mean, if you, I mean, looking closer at it, I was looking closer at it for like a second, I was like, okay, yeah, this is obviously just conventional makeup, which isn't nothing, which is nothing to sneeze at, but it's still, it didn't look very real, and there wasn't, it didn't feel like the suspension of disbelief was there for me at all, which is why I kept, which is why I just burst out laughing when the monster finally showed up. <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure what to say about, uh, what else to say about this thing, except that it was, I would say good effort. I, I'm being charitable here. I would say good effort on it because there was no explanation as to what every as to there was no logic to this story, at least to me either. It, there wasn't like there was no explanation as to why they wanted a close cast funeral. Because I mean, yeah, it's because the monster mauled him, I guess, to death or something. 
and it disfigured him. But considering they would have had to have found the body, there would have had to have been a police investigation, and they would have had to, and they would have had to contact the family and tell them about what happened. They would have told them why. Even if they're inviting people to the funeral, they probably would have explained why why everything was happening if they asked. But apparently they didn't, or they don't know, which makes the whole which just raises a whole bunch of questions that what did their family come home and find his body and then just bear or decide to just throw together a funeral or something like i said it lacks logic to me so which is why i'm being charitable and saying it's a good effort if hopefully this wasn't their first try i mean hopefully there was hopefully this was their first try and not like something that they've done consistently Alright, so with that, I'm winning this video here, so be sure to check out my other videos, those prize box productions, other videos, those are channels for prize box gaming and prize box reacts. Thanks for watching, and stay jamming, everyone.